we also recognize people need something at home. So why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so um, at home, you're not gonna send a patient home with a a tree in an IV bag, right? right? So what you wanna do is give them something that harnesses similar technology and we utilize liposomes for that. Liposomes right. are cell membrane with the nutrients injected into the middle of them, and they don't require digestion. They passively diffuse across membranes into the bloodstream so that you can get the same style of a yield as you would with an IV bag. So um, let me ask you this because, uh, you know, our, we have doctors out there. They're going to have to explain this to patients, yeah. and you are very good at doing this. So when people, t- they'll say, well, I got vitamin C at home. I'll just take vitamin C. Yeah. Why would that, I mean, it's sure it's going to be helpful, but not as helpful as say liposomal or IV. Why would the hospital choose to do IV over a hard pill that people can just swallow? That's right. So you have an off mechanism in your gut. You have the off switch. When your belly starts to experience larger amounts of vitamin C, which is over 1500 milligrams, it will trigger a flushing mechanism, which means diarrhea. So your patients will say, oh, all I got to do is take five grams of this stuff a day. So they start down in the vitamin C and they're, and they're, sleeping, in, yeah, they're sleeping in the bathtub because it's not a, an effective way to absorb it. So when you look at getting these nutrients into the body, make sure that these patients are getting frequent exposure, right, to slightly larger than normal amounts of things like vitamin C and glutathione, things that are going to upregulate that TH1 side of the immune system that boosts those white blood cells to be able to fight stronger and longer.